the real dry season begins in May. Those who come to the savannah of the Serengeti will experience an unforgettable panorama. The dark wave that colors the savannah. This is a gigantic parade of 1.5 million news. These news are migrating north. This 1,000 kilometer long journey involves deadly risks and unavoidable casualties. This great migration has been happening for 2.5 million years and is one of the most dramatic and breathtaking scenes in nature. What is the reason behind this great migration? There is only one reason that animals hurry in the savanna. And that is food. They spend 16 hours a day on average eating. An elephant needs to move more often to look for food as it consumes 180 kilograms of food in a day. It's a wide open grassland, but the quantity of grass has radically decreased after feeding 2.5 million herbivores. When the dry season sets in, a herd of 1.5 million gnus begins to move forward to look for water and fresh grass. This long journey begins in the savanna of the Serengeti, Tanzania, and continues for four months until they reach Masai Mara, Kenya, in the far north. Uninvited escorts accompany the herd in the journey. They are the carnivores that feed on news. A single moment off guard will seal their fate as a lion's meal. Dull as they may seem, news have great vision and a sense of smell unique to herbivores along with quick legs. Yet, these abilities cannot ensure their safety. This new met a tragic end before it even started its journey. The lion arouses its appetite with the most tender part of the new's flesh. The scorching sun is another enemy to all animals. The dry season of the savanna will not spare even a drop of rain. All puddles are dried up, and grasses also lose their moisture and become dried up. The zebra continuously rolls in the dust to protect its skin from the burning sun. this burning land without a speck of shade. Yet these news tactically continue to move forward, bearing the boiling weather at 35 degrees Celsius. It's water that all animals eagerly desire at this moment. An elephant can drink 200 liters of water a day, and even the king of beasts, the lion, cannot survive without water. the Grumeti River in the northern end of the Serengeti. This is the largest source of water north of the savanna. After two months of traveling, 
the herd of news arrives at the Grumetti River. The sound of news wailing in thirst. The Nile crocodiles have waited a long time for this moment. These news have run without a drop of water for many days. The smell of water dries up their ovulae, but they can't go down to the river to drink because a single sip of water may mean certain death. Older and more experienced news are careful, but the young are unaware of the danger lurking in the water. The news cannot overcome the sound of sipping and drinking and crowd into the river uncontrollably. This is the very moment the crocodiles have been waiting for. The first victim is found. It was a weak, young new. The news cannot give up the water, even though they know the crocodiles are waiting to attack them. The need to quench their thirst is so desperate that they are willing to risk their lives. A narrow escape from death. It was only possible because it was a strong mother new. After a while, more crocodiles crowd in. With eyes on top of their heads and nostrils open toward the sky, crocodiles can approach their prey right up to their noses without being discovered. Once it catches the new, it pulls it into the water to drown. Once the new is drowned, the carnival of blood begins. Crocodiles turn their bodies around to take a bite of the flesh and bone off the new. Within a split second, the arms and legs of the new are torn apart. Crocodiles battle with each other to get more meat. Crocodiles have 66 sharp teeth, but they are only efficient for biting, not for chewing. Once they bite off the flesh, they swallow it whole because they can't chew well. Their tail, that takes up 40% of their body length, is the source of their strength. They use the strength of their tails when they turn around, burst out from the water, or catch fish. The one with the largest body among this group of crocodiles is the leader. The leader always takes the best part of the food.
However, not all the crocodiles stuff their hungry stomachs. Those that have been waiting for this moment by eating only small fish all year long cannot be easily satisfied. Another young new becomes a victim. Witnessing death all around them, the news begin to step back. But their patience and fear cannot overcome their blazing thirst. A fairly large new is caught by its angle. The crocodile pulls its game into the water in order to drown it. The new helplessly writhes in vain. In another minute or two, it will definitely be drowned to death. of its mate, floating around, strikes a deep terror into its heart. But no matter how hard it struggles, it fails to step forward. The crocodile is regaining its strength. The new will have much less of a chance of survival if it is pulled deeper into the water. Crocodiles are the smartest animals among large reptiles, and they are also the most patient. The new uses all the strength it has and succeeds in putting its forelegs on the ground. If it can step up on the ground, the new will have the advantage in this struggle. the turning point of life and death. It cannot be experienced with anyone else, only alone. The other news have given up hope. They begin to leave one by one. The new begins to writhe more frantically, but it has only worsened the situation. While it lost its balance, the crocodile gained the upper hand. Now the new is sinking deeper into the water. Death is imminent. But the exhausted crocodile gives up first. It was a mortal combat that continued for about 30 minutes. Sometimes survival instincts become stronger than any other power in the world.
Silence has returned to the river, as if nothing happened. For a year until the news come back, the river will remain peaceful. After filling their stomachs, the crocodiles are cooling themselves in midday by opening up their mouths to let out the body's heat. A living fossil that has existed on Earth for more than 65 million years, the crocodile will now feed on small fish and birds, little by little. Crocodiles need to eat as much as half their own body weight in order to survive throughout the year. Hippos can be found anywhere there are rivers, lakes, swamps, or open water in the Serengeti. Hippos live in groups, and sometimes in the dry season, hundreds of hippos live in one place. Hippos are famous for the size of their mouth, but rather should be famous for their ability to stay in water. They can stay about five minutes underwater. Hippos spend much of the time in the water to prevent their skin from drying out under the scorching sun. This one, blowing air out of its nose, is announcing to the others that this is its territory. Hippos are very exact about maintaining their territory. As soon as these two ignorant Tommy gazelles step into their territory, a hippo makes a go for the Tommy. The other one standing by will face the same fate. They were understood to be intruders, therefore they were killed. Hippos will attack all intruders, be they man or lion, but they are usually grass-eating and peace-loving animals. The news that moved through the plain also passed by a thick forest. A moment of rest in the cool shade of a tree is a high point of their journey. After a short break, they begin to move again. They move a maximum of 16 kilometers a day. News move in groups of hundreds or thousands, and sometimes the line continues for 40 kilometers. There are many animals that are not easily seen in the grassland in the northwestern region of the Serengeti, an area densely covered with trees. The acacia leaves have sharp thorns, but giraffes have no problem eating them with their proficient tongues. The giraffe's neck is about two meters long, but it only contains seven bones, just like a human's. Giraffes can easily eat leaves high up in the trees with their long necks and 50 centimeter long tongues. Like giraffes, baboons also live around acacia trees, and they are busy stuffing their stomachs with fruits from the sausage tree. The baboon's offspring are breastfed until they are eight months old. Six weeks after birth, the offspring rides on its mother's back in a unique position. Another animal that loves trees is the savanna monkey.
It's easy to find the savanna monkeys picking lice out of each other's hair in the Serengeti. They are the most common monkeys in East Africa. A resident of the rocky areas spread here and there on the grassland is the mongoose. This one, intent on its meal in the bush right beside it, is the rock hyrex. The mongoose family and rock hyrexes live in a group around this rock. The hyrex breeds its offsprings in a crack in the rock and feeds on bush vegetation and leaves. Its hobby is to take a sun bath on top of their mothers. Due to the diversity of the natural environment, including the rocks, grass and trees, there are more than 500 species in the Serengeti. Canoes begin their travel in groups of hundreds, and now these groups join together with other groups and become a group of tens of thousands, and this group darkens the entire grassland. They have been marching north for four months now. They reach the Mara River at the border of Tanzania and Kenya. The place across the Mara River is their final destination. There is one last obstacle for the news. They have to swim across this 30 meter wide, dangerous river. The dark wave of news crowd along the river in the twinkling of an eye. The sound of the rough stream depresses their spirits, but they refuse to end their journey here. The leader goes first. It watches the current and the width of the river carefully. While the group at the head of the line hesitates, more news rush in uncontrollably from the distant grassland. The leader summons up his courage once again and looks for the narrowest spot in the river. The leader finally makes a decision, but his courage disappears as soon as cold water hits his jaw. The herd waits for its leader to make the first step into the river. On the third try, the leader finally begins to swim. Following their leader, the news begin to jump into the river. The news challenge the rough streams 
following a natural instinct that has been in their blood for two and a half million years. The herd of tens of thousands of news crossing the river through the rough waves is one of the greatest natural spectacles on Earth. They march forth with all their might. If they don't do this, they will be swept away by the stream. There are already some victims. There are some news who have lost their courage and are now turning back. But those who make it to the other bank of the river are rewarded. Through the battlefield, filled with the dead, another new successfully crosses the river. Even on the other side of the river, the news have to fight a fierce battle to safely cross due to the speed of the stream. It's shallow, but if one loses one's footing, one will drift away with the current in a split second. A young new seems exhausted. It writhes under the pressure, but it only sinks deeper into the river. The scavengers of the savanna, the vultures that devour the dead, they fly in anticipation along the river. New groups of news are arriving along the Mara River. Here, there is twice the danger and they need twice the courage. The crocodiles have been waiting for their chance and now begin to hunt. One new is caught by a crocodile. The sacrifice of one life makes it possible for its mates to cross safely. The group loses a few, but hundreds of thousands of news safely cross the river. However, some news from the leading group turn around and come back toward the river. They are the ones that have lost their family members while crossing the river. A mother new feels uneasy after losing her offspring. The younger ones are looking for their mothers. Other news and offspring are vacantly looking around to find family among the newly arriving groups. 
there is nothing to stop this great flow of news. Even on the five-meter-high cliff, these news throw themselves off without hesitation. A young new takes a false step while jumping off the cliff. A mother new crosses the river but comes back down the slope beside the cliff to look for her offspring. Now, only the mother and her offspring are left on this side of the river. If they don't hurry and join the group on the other side of the river, they can be the target of flesh-eating beasts. It takes much more courage to jump into the river alone than with the others. The hesitating mother finally makes up her mind and jumps into the water. An excited crocodile attacks the mother. To make matters worse, a sudden downpour has made the river rise. For some reason, crocodiles give up on the new in the middle of the struggle. The new escaped by the skin of its teeth, but its leg is completely broken. In spite of the excessive pain, the mother continues to walk toward the group. She must be thinking only about her offspring. But the group is too far away. The pain and the despair eventually become too much for the mother new. She cannot get up again. Her journey ends right in front of the promised land. At long last, the final destination is near. It was such a long and difficult journey. with fresh grass is only a few steps in front of them. These news have traveled a long way, risking their lives in order to come here. News will feed on this new grass and stay in this paradise for a month and then return to the savanna of the Serengeti.
Now, after 1.5 million news and 250,000 zebras have left, the savanna has fallen into a calm. Once all the news have left, the Serengeti National Park Authority sets fire to the grassland. A large fire naturally breaks out in the grassland in the dry season from time to time, so they purposely burn the grass to protect the trees. The burning of the grass prevents the multiplication of harmful insects like mosquitoes and flies, and new grass will grow quicker. The preservation of the Serengeti is possible due to these efforts. The savanna of the Serengeti and the Norongoro crater were originally part of the Maasai tribe's territory. Ngorongoro is a 300 square kilometer crater. It is called the department store of animals as a great number of wild animals are preserved here, surrounded by 600 meter high cliffs. This area was designated as a natural preservation area as early as the 1950s, as its value became known to the world. The park authority moved the Maasai tribe out of the crater. of the Maasai tribe had a custom of lion hunting in order to prove their bravery. Lion hunting is now prohibited, but the custom still remains in their rituals. The warriors in the front line jump as high as they can and stamp their feet before they hunt in order to threaten the lion. The Maasai tribe used to live against nature, but now they are learning how to live with nature. Park authorities provide natural preservation training to the Maasai tribe on a regular basis in the Ngorongoro preservation area, because they cannot maintain the natural environment without the help of these people. When the dry season begins, the Serengeti National Park rangers get busy. This is because of the increasing amount of poaching. Poachers hunt the news that begin to migrate and the wild beasts that accompany them. The park authority monitors poaching using a variety of means. This monitoring plane flies around the savanna to look for poachers. When they find a poacher and contact the main office, monitors will come in a minute. The monitors must be armed. It's very dangerous to face poachers who carry a variety of weapons. Poacher sweeping is like a military operation. Poachers are organized into groups and they use a variety of methods these days that it's not easy to catch them. The rangers have found a trap. Poachers have laid a noose made out of wood, wire and tree bark to catch the grazers that come to eat leaves and grasses. They finally found the poachers. 
the war between poachers and the rangers, the pursued and the pursuer, continues in the Serengeti. There were three of them, and they were all residents living in the neighborhood. The poachers made a hideout in the savanna to stay there for a while to skin and dry the animals they caught. They poach for game because they are extremely poor. Uh, the kind of poaching which is done in Tanzania is for food. They mainly go into the bush, hunt those animals, just mainly, I said, for food. You can see people like those, they, they look poor. The confiscated skins are burned on the spot in order to prevent black marketing. But no matter how hard the park rangers try to get rid of poaching, it seems impossible to root it out completely. To those desperate for a meal, survival is a greater issue than animal protection. A quarter of the entire territory of Tanzania is a natural preservation area and they have been promoting the importance of animal protection nationwide. The park rangers bring little children to the grassland for on-the-spot education. These children watch the wild animals with their eyes, study their ecology, and learn how to protect the animals. These children will understand more about nature and become adults who will love and preserve nature. <laughs> They have been living here for millions of years, long before the beginning of humankind, and they will continue to live here. The Serengeti, it is the greatest property that nature has given to the world. <laughs>